What is going on guys? Welcome to your 64th UDK tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you guys about something called volumes. Now if you're kind of getting annoyed by this menu and these buttons right here because they're sitting there in our interface but I never really talked about what they were that's what I'm going to be covering in this tutorial so let me explain to you guys verbally what volumes are first. Volumes are pretty much just areas of space that you can set up to do different things. Now it's kind of hard to explain it verbally but once I go ahead and show you guys an example, it's going to be crystal clear. So let me go ahead and show you guys when and why you would use a volume. So say you're making this level and you put this trigger right here. Well, we can change a couple properties on the trigger. We can make it taller or we can make the cylinder wider, give it a bigger radius. But it's always going to be a cylinder. So what if you wanted to make a custom shape so the years you didn't go around it or you know you just wanted a shape different than a cylinder because it would better fit your level. Well this trigger just isn't going to work so go ahead and delete your trigger and what this is saying is alright Bucky you're deleting it in the view but it's still going to be in your kismet so let me go ahead and continue and open up kismet and delete it in there just to make it happy. So what we're going to be doing is basically adding a customized trigger shape called a volume. So go ahead and select your builder brush and if you go ahead and right click it give it 512 by 32 by 256 tall is good enough and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit build and now this gives you the general shape and we can go ahead and make a volume of this shape but I'm gonna be doing a couple things more to it. So in my side view what I'm gonna be doing is centering this right in front of the door looks pretty good and I'm also going to be in my front view just bringing it right about there so if you actually go ahead and look in my perspective view you can see that this area which is going to be eventually the area of a trigger is sitting right in front of my door but we want to fix the problem that you know I told you guys about we want to make sure that the user or the player rather doesn't sneak in between the side of the wall and the door here and kind of sneak past his volume so what we're going to want to be doing is we want to give it more of a customized shape so go ahead and hop over in geometry mode and if I go ahead and select this face right here I can go ahead and let me move this maybe move this so you guys can see a little bit better go ahead and hop over to extrude mode and I I talked to you guys about extrude mode before so it basically lets you customize the shape of your volume and that looks pretty good over there so now I'm just gonna be doing that with the other side so make sure that they're both relatively even usually whenever you're making a game then you wanna you know take your time and make sure that this and this are both even but for the sake of this tutorial it's good enough so also with extrude mode still on I'm gonna go ahead and select this face and probably my front view would be the best just pull it so it hits that castle wall looks pretty good and also select this face right here and pull that so it matches up right with that so now we can go ahead and X out of this geometry mode and what I have now is the customized shape that wraps around the door completely so now my user of course can't jump over this can't go underneath it we don't have the problem of a trigger where it's only a specific shape which is a cylinder we can pretty much make customized shapes so right now this is just a weird looking builder brush so how do we turn this into a volume if we go ahead and hit this button add volume we can go ahead and select let me see if I can find it trigger volume right there and what this does is it makes this trigger volume the same exact shape and the reason we can't see any changes is because our builder brush is in the way so let's go ahead and slide that out and actually hit B to hide your builder brush and now you can see we have this green volume that is like a customized shape perfectly to fit our map so we're saying alright so this is a trigger so can we just treat it exactly like a trigger well yes you can anything that you can do with a trigger you can do this this is basically a customized trigger so go ahead and select it and open kismet and if you go ahead and right click you can now see new event using trigger volume 2 and just make it a touch event which means whenever you touch any of this area then this matinee is gonna play and that is of course if we drag over this touch and plug it into play so now what's gonna happen is this we set up a customized volume which is pretty much a customized shape trigger and now 
what happens is whenever our character runs into this trigger volume, hits this volume or this space in any kind of way, the matinee is going to play. And if you guys forgot, the matinee just turned this door from red into green. So if you guys don't believe me, let me go ahead and hit play from here. And now let me go ahead and see I'm not hitting my volume yet, but now when I do, you see it slowly changed from red to green. I could have made that a little more exciting. Maybe I should make it move or something, but hey, I'm too lazy to do that. So that is basically what a volume is. And again, I only went over a trigger volume, which is one type of volume, but we have massive amounts of volume. Again, we didn't cover a lot of this stuff yet. So, you know, like post process and um, physics volumes, but we'll get into that later. So anyways, now that you understand the basics of what volumes are and how to use them, you're ready to move on to the, uh, I don't know, whatever the heck I'm going to teach next. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe now. See you guys later.